as a continuation to the last video session we will be talking about other details of text to column other applications of text to column this is where we ended where we segregated the name and surname and combined into one single cell in a different sequence now let me take you to another example so let me go to the sheet 2 text to column 2 okay in front of me lies a list of data which has been taken from a fixed asset register what is that for every fixed asset bought inside the company uh, i have the account number whether it's plant and machinery whether it's furniture and fixture etc what is the individual unique item code allotted to it a system generated item code which is based on the item number and lastly the description now sometimes in the old legacy erp software some of them when you download the data in excel they all get bunched into one single cell all the data how do i analyze this data to analyze this data i must segregate into four different columns now how do i do that of course i am not going to individually copy and paste into different cells because that is going to take me a lifetime what i'll be doing is telling excel hey wherever you find a certain delimiter please segregate the data something very similar to the last one where we used comma as the delimiter so let me check this out after choosing a sample data let me go to data tab let me reach out to text to column okay now what i have in front of me the two options one of which we briefly discussed in the last video so let me take that as a starting point which is step one of three next now of course i cannot use a comma as a delimiter let me try out space oops as soon as i choose space what i notice for the first three columns the output looks fine to me three different columns but for the fourth one since the description exists in all the cell and all the description has space inside them they all get segregated into four different columns as of now if i proceed and just like the last time if i change the destination that means my output should begin not from a5 but the cell adjoining to it if i press finish you'll notice the first three column looks decent but the next one the last one which says asset description this is not the way i wanted so what is the other option that can help us let me press control z again let me choose the data this time let me choose the entire set of data start till end so pressing shift control and then down arrow key to help me get this data selected let me reach out to data text two columns now this time let me try out the other option of step one which is fixed width and we'll see what is this fixed width going to do next now fixed width will not give you options like space comma or any such characters what it does is as the name suggests it will draw straight lines automatically where it thinks you can segregate the data based on the available spaces or the tab keys if you want you can double click on the lines to remove now this entire one column if you want to bring that line simply single click it will be back so you can customize the placement of the lines now the advantage lies in the fact that it doesn't pick space as the delimiter it uses straight lines and that's the reason why i'm able to put all the description into one column if i press next and i change the destination from the current a5 cell to the one next to it which is b5 and if i press finish mm looks better account number item number asset description but wait if i compare the item number check with the original data i notice the zero has been taken off and why does that happen we must have noticed by now let's say if we write any number starting with 00, zero let's say check number or any account number the zero is not displayed unless you change the format of the cell to text or you put a single quotation first and then start writing the digit starting with zero but how do i then do that for all the data yes there is a trick let me press control z now a lot of professionals i have uh, discussed with sometimes the erp gets the data into different columns 
after you use text to column and this is precisely the problem that they face especially when you talk about customer id code vendor id code project id code and so on so let me show you the solution let me press control z couple of times so that i reach to the old data once again now let me choose the entire data using shift control down data tab text to columns step 1 will remain same as what we did that is fixed width going to next step 2 keeping the same options on which is four columns of output data no change here as well step 3 there is one slight change that change is if you select the third column in this preview window it blackens out and all you have to do is make sure it is stored as text that's the reason you'll see the text out here and if you now change the destination which we always do and if you press finish you'll notice the output data is stored in text and that's the reason it is also storing and displaying the 00 as the two prefix digits so this is how you can use fixed width along with the in inbuilt option where you can change the output as text so give it a try very useful meet you in the next video session where we'll talk about two more tricks on text to columns